Did you know that you can look up Hearthstone cards based off the artist who drew them? Look at this. The artist is Matt Dixon. So if you go in the search menu and you search up artist colon Matt underscore Dixon. And if you look at that, it's every single card drawn by Matt Dixon. The Hearthstone collection has so many more uses that you don't know about. We're going to go over the entire collection in this video, starting with the very basics and then moving on to the advanced features. Starting with this part in the middle, the Hearthstone collection features every single card in the game. You can go on the bottom here and look up wild cards for all the cards that are in the wild game mode. And you can also look up the classic cards. If you scroll down, you can see every single card sorted by the set they are in and the wild sets as well. At the bottom, you have legacy cards. They don't really matter. You don't have to worry about them, especially if you're just starting. Going back to the collection, you can right click on a card to view it. And as you can see, this is a core card. It's uncraftable. We can right click any other card. And as you can see on the right, you have the expansion they were in, the rarity and the artist who drew it. You can also see the card in its full glory and you can disenchant and recraft it. We will get to that in just a bit. The collection is sorted by mana first and then in alphabetical order. So it starts at zero mana, then one. And when it goes to one mana, the cards are shown in alphabetical order. So we got the Battle Fiend with the B, the Crimson Sigil Runner with the C, and you get the idea. On the top here, you have every single Hearthstone class and the neutral cards represented by the little fangs. And these are also in alphabetical order. Or you can just memorize the icon. So we got Demon Hunter, Druid, Hunter, Mage, you get the idea. If we go on the very right over here, we have our coins. You have the default coin you can always use, but you can also get other coins by collecting so many cards in an expansion. So for this one, I need 135 Forge in the Baron's cards to own it. If I want to use this coin, I'd press make favorite. And now the coin will give me this skin. But I like using the Dark Moon Fair one, so I'm going to make this one my favorite. And now that's my coin I'm using. Some coins you can only obtain through the battle pass. Like this one only can be obtained in the battle pass. Looks like you gotta fork up some money. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? One tab over, we have your card backs. Again, right click to look at a card back, left click to make favorite. I like using the random card back, meaning that each game I'll get a different card back. If you go over to the end of your collection, Oh my gosh, I have a lot of cards. You'll see these translucent card backs. If you right click on them, you can buy a card pack for 500 gold. You can look at your gold on the bottom right hand corner or your dust on the bottom right hand corner, depending on what menu you're in. If you go into the end of your collection, you'll see the translucent card backs. You can't buy these card backs. You're going to have to get them by doing something special. So for example, you'd have to complete League of Explorers in Heroic to get this card back or you'd have to do One Night in Karazhan in Heroic for this card back. Those are the single player campaigns. Feel free to do it as you wish. And again, some of these are pre-purchased for Dark Moon Fairs. You can't get them. The last tab is your hero skins. And basically, if you left click, you can look at all the hero skins you have. These are the skins your hero will use in game. So for example, if I want to change my Warlock skin, I'd left click. I can right click on Gul'dan and make favor. And as you can see on the top here, it changed from Nemzi to Gul'dan and I can change it back. Make favorite and now it's back to Nemzi. Some of these skins you can buy with gold. For example, if you want to buy this creepy boy, you can buy them with 1800 gold. But some of these you can't buy with gold. You have to get them from an expansion release or maybe some tavern passes. Basically, if you don't have the option, it's too late. So sometimes they're in the shop, look for it. Some of them are limited time events like this guff card. On the right side, you have all of your decks and I got to disappear for a second. So if we scroll down to the very bottom, you've got your new deck. And for example, I want to build a priest deck. So I pick priest and I choose. You'll see here that you have your core priest deck, which is cards all from the default core set. You'll also have two pre-made decks that the game will give you. If you have less than 25 out of the 30 cards in the deck, the little icon on the bottom won't pop up. It'll just be sad like this one. But that doesn't mean you can't still click the deck and press choose. And as you can see on the right here, you have all the cards in the deck. If you left click on replace cards option, it'll give you a card that you can replace for the cards you don't have. So for example, I don't have Call of the Grave, so they want me to put Holy Nova or Shadow or Death. I'm going to be completely honest, this pick a replacement is really bad, but if you don't have any cards, you might as well try it. As you can tell, these cards that are hollowed out are the cards I don't have. So again, if you click it again, you'll also see that pick replacement card for each card. To add a card to your deck, you can hold and drag and it'll be popped up in here. And to remove a card, you can hold and drag. Alternatively, you can left click on the card. It will be added to your deck. 
and you can left click on the card in the deck list and it will be removed. If you hover over your hero, you have a few options. First, you can rename your deck. So just click on that little text box right there and you can name it whatever you want. For example, subscribe if these videos are helping you. <laughs> but as you can see, you only have a certain number of characters you can use. So press enter and that's the new deck name. You can also convert the deck to wild, meaning the deck is now playable in wild. Well, actually the deck is playable in wild if it's just a standard deck, but now you can add wild cards like forbidden words. So instead of just showing standard cards, if you convert to wild, you can now add wild cards to your deck as well. The deck helper option is just the replace card option, but in a different place. This time we're going to make a custom deck and we're going to press the complete my deck option. Basically what this does, it just creates a new deck for you. This is actually a pretty good deck. What the heck? Let's say for example, I want to show the entire world this hunter deck. Go over to the custom hunter and I'm going to press copy. What that does is copy your hunter deck into your clipboard meaning you can paste it to something so here i have my notepad up i go Control v and there's the hunter deck what you can also do with this function is you can go to create new deck and it says would you like to create a new deck from your clipboard you press yes when you press yes you'll have the hunter deck that you just copied be put into your collection as a deck Let's try this with a deck online now. Right now, I'm on hsreplay.net. I'm going to press copy deck to Hearthstone. But oh no, I have too many decks. I have 27 out of my 27 decks. First thing I'm going to say is that you won't have 27 decks right away. You'll get them gradually. You'll start at 9 decks, then you'll get 18, then you'll get 27. So don't worry if you don't have 27 decks yet. If you hover over, you can click on the X and you can delete your deck. Alternatively, you can click and hold and that will move the decks around in any order you want them to be. This is useful for when you're in the Hearthstone menu and you want to move your decks around. So this would be the top deck in your collection and the one at the very end would be the bottom deck in your collection. Let's click new deck and as you can see the same thing happens, copying the deck from your clipboard. And now you'll notice that this aggro druid has a name. Since I pasted that deck from HS Replay to Hearthstone, if I control V or if I try to paste, it won't work anymore. Right above this text, to use this deck copy it to your clipboard and create a new deck in Hearthstone, if you copy this code, go to new deck and you copy that code alone you will notice the deck is the exact same, but there won't be a name to the deck. And it's just a name, who really cares? You can type it out, but that's just something you should know. So right now I don't have any deck and I don't have anything copied to my clipboard. If I go back to hsreplay.net, I press copy deck to Hearthstone and I go to a Druid, it will copy the deck into the Druid slot. Now we're going to get into the juicy stuff. At the bottom, you can sort cards by mana. So zero mana, one mana, two mana, all the way to seven plus mana. And right here, the crafting button, you're going to press this button a lot. Let me show you why. First, I'm going to show you a few search terms that you need. First thing you can look up is missing. And this will show you every single card that you're missing. As you can see here, I'm missing a Shattered Rumbler. I'm missing Runic Carvings. You can see that I only have one Shattered Rumbler. Normally, I can have two. Since you can only have one copy of a Legendary, you either have the Legendary or you don't have it. You Say, for example, I want to start playing the Shaman Quest. I right click on it and it brings me to this menu. I can click the Create button and that will craft the card. Now, if I left this menu, the card would be in my collection. I can press the undo button to refund all that dust and disenchant the card for free. Just to show how the disenchant interaction works, if I press create on this quest paladin, it'll create the card. I still have the option to undo it on the left here, but if I left the menu like this, it's gone. I got an achievement too. Look at that. And I were to go back into this menu, you'll see that now I can't refund it. I just have to disenchant it for 400 dust and it'll give me the warning, but I can still press undo. I'm not going to leave the menu, but if I left the menu, the undo option wouldn't be there and I'd have to recraft it for 1600 dust. The moment you leave the crafting menu after you've done something, that is when that decision is permanent and when you disenchant the card or you recraft the card, you have to do it for full dust. A little bit of a side note, if you press disenchant and you have it in a deck, it'll give you a warning. Or if you press disenchant and you only have two copies, it will also give you a warning because then you won't have the full two copies for the card. 
And if you do that for legendary cards, it will also give you a warning too. On the right here, you can click diamond cards. And these cards you can get by completing whatever objective is at the bottom. For example, obtaining 25 Skullamance Academy legendaries. Just for reference, there's 35 legendaries in Skullamance Academy. So that's a lot of dust. You can also look at golden cards, and these are cards that are in golden. And this is also the best way to craft golden cards if you want to. So I can right click and craft it for a lot more dust than you should really be using on cards. So if you really want to craft a golden epic for 1600 dust, you go for it man, they look cool. Just a side note, disenchanting golden cards will give you a lot more dust than you normally would get. For example, if you disenchant Lilypad Lurker as a regular card, it'd be 100 dust and this is an epic. But if you disenchant the golden Lilypad Lurker, you'll get 400 dust. So 4 times the amount of dust. It also costs 4 times the amount of dust to create, so it explains a lot. <laughs> Lastly, you have your uncraftable cards and these are cards from the core set or cards that the game gives you for free. So the game gave me this card for free, it's uncraftable. Before we get into the disenchant extra cards button, we're gonna go out of the crafting menu and look up extra. As you can see, you can only have two cards in your Hearthstone deck, so it doesn't make sense for you to own more than two cards. As you can see, I have three Germantations, three Pied Seekers. If I go into this menu, you can see I have two Dunbar Bunkers in gold and two extra ones. And since they gave me Dunbar Bunker for free, these cards are technically the extras. If we go onto this menu, I didn't get Field of Strife for free, so that's why I see an extra Field of Strife here, because I can actually disenchant this card. I can't disenchant Dunbar Bunker, so it's not going to show me the option to disenchant it from the extra menu. Finally, we can go into the disenchant extra cards, and as you can see, I have 2030 dust. If I disenchant extra cards, I press disenchant, it will give me a mass disenchant. So basically, all those extra cards I had earlier, it will give me the dust for it. As you can see, mass disenchant does not disenchant golden cards. So, I can right click Field of Strife and disenchant it from this menu right here. And you can do this for every single one of your extra cards. So some of the cards, they won't let you disenchant the extras of. For example, Snowblind Harpy is uncraftable, so it doesn't mass disenchant this Snowblind Harpy. So I'd have to look up extra and disenchant that by hand, and it will give you some extra dust. And now we can get into the best part about the collection, this search bar. The way the search bar works is that you take whatever text is on the card, it will give you the cards that have those words on it. For example, if I want some healing in my deck, I can look up heal. And since the word heal is also in the word health, You'll see restore 5 health to each hero, restore 5 health, blah 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 blah. If I want to look up a card name specifically, for example, I want to look up Spirit Guide, I can look up exactly Spirit Guide. But if I just looked up Guide, it would give me Spirit Guide, but it would also give me Tour Guide. If I look up a class, let's say I look up Paladin, it won't give me Paladin cards, but it will give me dual class cards for Paladin and another class. So if you really want to filter by one class, you can't search up Paladin in this bar. You'd have to click Paladin on the top. I want to build a Nazoth deck. I can look up Zoth and it will give me Nazoth. And since we're Nazoth, you want minion types? Let's look up a minion type. Let's look up Demon, for example. And as you can see, I can add whatever demons are in the collection. So desk gift, these are all demons. I can do this for pirate. And look at that, all the pirates. I can do this for dragon. And as you can see, here's all the dragons. But since I looked up dragon, it will also give me cards that have dragon in it. It's pretty helpful actually, because if you have dragons in your deck, you might want some dragon synergy. Maybe for example, you want minions that have three attack for some reason. You can type attack, colon, and let's say three. And here is every single minion with three attack in your collection. But maybe you want minions with three or more attack. You go three plus, and not only do you have minions with three, but you have minions with four attack as well. You can also do this with minus, so three attack and below. So you have minions with two attack, and minions with three attack, and minions with one attack. And if you go three dash, let's say six for example, you have minions with three attack, minions with four attack, minions with five attack, and minions with six attack. Come on, let me find one. There it is. And this works for every single attribute on the card. So you can go health here's all the minions with two and you can do that for two plus two minus health two two seven for some reason seven's a big range the most useful thing you can use this for is mana for example you have a card like vandar for vandar you want cards that cost five or more so you can go mana and not only can you go five you can go mana five plus and these are every single card that costs five or more mana five minus if you want cards that cost five and below 
and again, five to six maybe. And here's all the five cost cards and the six cost cards. If you search up type colon as well, you can look for specific types of cards, like minions for example. Type minion, and these are only minions, no spells here. If you look up type spell though, you'll only see spells and no minions. If you look up type weapon, of course, you'll only see some weapons. And if you look up type hero, you'll see only hero cards. And you'll notice I don't have many hero cards. So if I press the crafting menu on the bottom here, you can see all of the hero cards I have and I don't have. Speaking of cards I don't have, you can type missing in the box here and it will show you every single card you don't have and the cards you only have one of. Alternatively, you can go owned colon one and it will show you only the cards you own one of. I only have one evolving missiles, only have one of each legendary, so that's why they show up in this menu. I can also go own colon two and I can see all the cards I own two of. For some reason, if you don't want to look up the set on the left here, you can type it in the search menu. For example, Scholomets Academy, and here's all the Scholomets Academy cards, and only the Scholomets Academy cards. Or you can go SA, short for Scholomets Academy, and it's and the exact same thing. Only Scholomets Academy cards, not cards that have SA in it. But for example, if I go TA, it'll show you any card that has TA in the text or its name. Gain plus attack. Sky Talon, right? Let me open some packs because I got to show you something too. You'll notice at the top there's a one and that means you have a new card in your collection. Alternatively, you can search up new and it will show you that new card. The moment you hover over that new card, the new card icon's gone, but now you know that you had a new card. Hey, the card's made by Mac Dixon, look at that. And that is everything you need to know about your collection. If you want more Hearthstone guides, you should subscribe and check out this video right here. And if you really want to support the channel, check out the Patreon too for some perks as well. Thanks for stopping by, I'll see you around.